guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and welcome to this quick video post. In today's video post I want to show you guys another quick technique that I use in my liquefying tool. Most of the time if I liquefy on my 300 dpi image my liquefier crashes and I have a little bit of a problem. Let me get to you guys right into it. Alright on our final layer here I'm just going to duplicate that with command J and just create a new layer and I'm just going to rename that with L for the liquefying technique. It's in no way a nice tutorial where I show you guys some techniques how to retouch or anything this is just to show you the technique that I use in my liquefying tool alright so select that layer I'm gonna go to filter liquefy and now you guys can already see it it's really taking a lot of time to render it and it's a super big file and mostly when I start warping now or doing something to my image then it sometimes really really lags as you guys can see now it's not working at all and if I do a lot then yeah there it starts to crash again so this is really frustrating for me and I need to get it around I need to get this somewhere to liquefy so I have a little technique there for you guys first of all what we're going to do is select your layer over here your liquefying layer and we're going to render it down to 72 dpi so I'm going to go to image image size and I'm going to say here under resolution I'm going to set it to 70 dpi okay and as you guys can see now, Photoshop is rendering it down completely. Our complete image size or canvas size is completely down. So now we rendered it down to 72 dpi. And now we're going to go back into Liquify tool over here, filter, liquify. And now have a look how quick Photoshop renders the complete file. So now I'm able to just with the warp tool do whatever I like to. So into the, this tutorial, I'm just going to warp really crazy over here. Just take the ears in a bit and make the glasses a little bit bigger or something to just show you guys the technique not what I'm really doing on the person okay over here and maybe blow the glasses a little bit over here just tap it a little few times over there okay make it a really freaky photo over here okay that's all that I'm going to do and now if I say OK it's obviously going to overtake that to our 72 dpi image but we don't want that we want it on 300 dpi so what I'm going to do is go to save mesh over here on the right hand side so save mesh I say I'll save it under my desktop just on a random folder called mesh Photoshop and I'm going to save it as liquify mesh I'm going to say save down here okay save that and now I'm going to say cancel so we're back to our 72 dpi image over here in Photoshop and now the trick comes in now we'll go a step back in our history panel over here so I'm going to go to layer order back one step and now we're back to our 300 dpi big image and high quality okay press command zero just to fit that onto the screen here and now I'm gonna go back to my liquify layer over here go back into filter and back to liquify so now liquify is rendering again it takes some time so, uh, now our second trick actually comes in what we're gonna do now is go to load mesh and in here we're going to select our folder or our file again that we just saved double click on that and have a look liquify directly renders that for us on our 300 dpi image so how nice is that now the only step we have to do is just say ok over here and it will directly overtake that to our image so that's a super nice trick how to get around to Photoshop or actually to liquify on a big image without having the problem that liquify always crashes or it's not loading properly. So I hope you guys learned something from this quick tutorial. My name is Manny. If you still have any problems with this, please email me to team at mannyphotography.co.za. Thank you guys for watching. See you all next week in another quick tutorial. Bye-bye.